everybody. I'm Leora Sims. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of my Anakin and Padme Star Wars series. Anakin spent a few days in Batu and he really, really missed Padme. The more time he spends with her, the more he loves her, and the more he worries about her and her general well-being and safety. So he decided that he is now a resident at Padme's. He lives with her now. Obi-Wan Kenobi is not going to like this. Anakin is not trained to protect Padme the way a Jedi would because Anakin is not yet a Jedi. He is in training to see if he is up to the training to become a full-fledged Jedi. But he is absolutely nowhere near there yet. On the other hand, as long as Anakin lives with Padme, he won't be a teenager living somewhere alone. Padme is inside reading a book and Anakin is going to talk to her a bit. He's going to discuss logic puzzles with her. He's going to have a deep conversation. He's going to get over his loneliness. He's going to give props. And then we'll see where we are. There's Obi-Wan, so he's going to ask her advice, he's going to brighten her day, he is going to Ask for juice fizzing tips. He is going to Ask about kind 
Adam made his brother-in-law. He is going to discuss interests. Now, I wasn't thinking that I was going to move Padme and Anakin into the same residence uh, in this episode, but uh, I thought about it. And in The Phantom Menace, Anakin meets Padme at a very difficult time in his life. And in The Phantom Menace, Anakin is about nine, and Padme um, is very sisterly towards him and wants to protect him in her own um, mother-sisterly type of way. She gives him a blanket. Um, she talks to him. And, um, although I made these two older for the series, Padme has the same personality. She is a giver. She wants to help Anakin, and she knows that Anakin is lonely, and she wants to be a good friend to him. And they can learn a lot from each other. He's going to give her repair tips. And he is going to cook Padme some dinner. Let's see what's in the Well, he's going to uh, clean out the spoiled food. And, uh, then he is going to cook. And this is a recipe that he learned about in Batu. This is the lava roll. And, um, he's going to make a family size of that.
this, by the way, is a vegetarian dish. Or a vegan dish. I'm not quite sure. Okay, I don't know what stopped him from making the lava roll before, but I knew I had to resume the cooking. And it's excellent quality. Padme, who is starving, is going to come over and uh, eat this lava roll, and I'm going to see what her reaction is. And now Padme knows the recipe of the lava roll. And she's going to put away and she's going to clean up. Oh, well, he's going to clean up, I guess. Now that it's quiet, I'm going to have Anakin give Padme a gift. And he is going to give her a piece of scrap metal and he's happy 
happy that he gave her a gift and she's happy that she received a gift. And because she received that gift, she now has enough for a droid to construct a droid. You need 10 pieces. So hopefully the next time you see Padme, she will have or be on her way to having an R2-D2. I'm ending this episode here, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Be happy, healthy, and stay safe. Thanks for watching.